hey, um, I never know what to say in the beginning, but whatever, I don't care. So I've had like a really bad day so far, and I just read something and I feel a lot better now. So I'm going to talk about this new spring 2012 season that's going to be starting really soon, and I'm really excited, except I, I'm excited and not excited. I don't know how much of it I'm actually going to watch. But I'll link it to you so you can read the descriptions for yourself. No, I'm just going to, like, read the ones that I find the funniest and the one, and just list things. Okay, so I've discovered, like, three, like, the, yeah, three separate idol group series. There's one, there's this one about a wolf and a goat that become friends and how they overcome differences and hardships. There's a new Beyblade series, the new Eureka 7 series which is probably going to get really huge, because Eureka 7 has a really huge fan base, and I know I need to watch Eureka 7, but I'm lazy, but whatever, I don't care. A soccer series, because you need a few sport animes each se season, even though no one cares about sports anime, except for Prince of Tennis, because that's the only one that matters, in my personal opinion. I love me some Prince of Tennis, for no reason. This one is called Hayoru Nyaruku, but I stopped not... Hi Yoru Nyaruko san, but I stopped trying to read the description because I kept making nya nya nya. That's annoying as crap. Let's see, we have a reverse harem series, um, a mystery series that involves a 33 year old case, um, Jorm Jormungand, adapted from the manga by, adapted from the manga by by Keitaru Takahashi about a young arms dealer and her team of bodyguards. Because that's all you need to know. Well, at least it's better than the other one that just said that there's a Sinzere in it. And I was like, thanks for telling me. Sinzere's are totally not popular. A second season of Kimi Toboku. Because apparently they didn't learn from how the first season and how it sucked. Because one episode felt like three hours. I only watched like an episode and a half before I just stopped. Let's see. Kore wa Zombie Deska of the Dead. Another a second season of that series. Um, another sports anime, but about basketball. A loop in the third series, um, I'm trying to think, it's like almost 30 years since they've had a Lupin, anything related to Lupin, so that's probably going to get really big. I've never seen, like, Lupin. I don't know if any of you guys have, but if you have, you should talk about it at some time, because Lupin sounds really interesting. I'm just lazy. And this series is about his love interest, Fujiko Mine, so I don't know. I should probably watch Lupin before I try watching that. Like, I want to. I'm vaguely interested in Medica Box because it's by the author of the Monogatari series, and Monogatari series is, like, phenomenal, and it has a student council president, and I love student council series for no reason, and I don't know, it sounds kind of boring, but I don't know, maybe there'll be, like, a lot of witty dialogue, because that's what he's really well known for. Okay, this one made me laugh really hard. Mikoto Urebe, an unusual girl with some awesome scissors, and Akira Tsubaki have a special connection. They have the ability... The ability to share their emotions and physical conditions through saliva. Tsubaki is addicted to this and must taste it every day to avoid going into withdrawal. And that's just the start of the weirdness. This is Nazu no Kanajo X. Um, I don't even know how I feel about this right now because it just sounds hilarious. I don't know if I'm going to watch it or not. Like, I've come across the manga a few times on Manga Reader, but I normally just kind of like continue like clicking the surprise me button. But I might actually try and watch that because it's also really funny oh hey it's a korean idol group um another queen's blade series which is just porn rock lee's springtime of youth um another saint Seiya, another saki series this is the one i'm most excited for saka michi no apollon or apollo on the slope where do i begin with how excited i am about the series okay so it's like about jazz music and it takes place in the 60s, and it's the same director of Cowboy Bebop, and it's the same woman who did the music for Cowboy Bebop. Sun Korea, Sun I can't even say that, I don't even care. A romantic comedy manga adaptation about a nightmare fetish boy and the girl that he resurrected as a zombie. I love you, Japan. I love you so much sometimes. You just make me laugh so hard. All I need to say about Sengoku Collection is... Social networking card game for mobile phones. I feel like that's all that really matters. Um, Shining Hearts, Shiawase no Pan. Or Shining Hearts, Bread of Happiness. It's just a harem series. Shiro Kuma Cafe, which is 
about a polar bear who owns a cafe and a panda who is a regular customer. I don't know. Um, another mystery anime. Um, something of Tsuritama, which is about a boy who doesn't communicate with people, and then he meets someone who calls himself an alien, and then there's a mysterious Indian, and something about the fate of the world. I don't know. I'm probably going to watch it. Space Brothers, and then this Zet Man series that I honestly couldn't read the description because of the picture, because the picture the picture's pretty ridiculous. So, I don't know how I feel about the spring season. I honestly don't even remember what the good season for anime was. Like, I don't remember at all, because these past few seasons have sucked so much. So, I'll link you to this, and you can read the descriptions for yourself. Because I find them kind of funny, not gonna lie, because they're pretty hilarious. So, I'm gonna shut up now, because I just feel a lot better, and yeah. <laughs>